Hello everyone and welcome to tutorial Friday number 7. In this week's guide we will go over one of the strongest AD carry in the game, Vayne. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys and welcome to this Vayne guide. Let me start off by telling you what we will cover in this guide. As you can see in the top of the screen, there are buttons which you can press to skip to specific parts of the guide. In case you already know several things about the champion, you might want to skip to the more advanced parts, like the laning phase or the team fighting phase. If you are new to the champion and want to learn him from the basics, start from the beginning which will cover masteries, runes, item builds and skill order. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's take a look at the runes and masteries. My Vayne rune page is pretty similar to any other AD carry rune page. It involves attack damage marks, flat armor seals, flat magic resist blues, and 1 attack damage and 2 attack speed quints. For masteries, I got 21 points in the offense tree and 9 points in the defense tree. It is best to pause the video right here if you want to fill this in for yourself, because I won't be going in full details on the masteries. Now that everything is set up, let's take a look at Vayner's skills. If you already know her skills, you might want to skip to the next part, which is skill order. Her passive, Night Hunter, increases your movement speed when you are facing an enemy. This is a great chase tool because you usually walk faster than your enemy because of it. Her Q, Tumble, dashes you quickly to a position where the mouse is at that moment. It is a fast skill and is used the most for repositioning yourself in teamfights. Also, for dodging skill shots, this skill is absolutely amazing. Her W, Silver Bolt, deals true damage every third hit you deal subsequently on one enemy. This is what makes Vayne such a beast in the late game because she doesn't care about tank stats. It is based on percent max HP of your enemy. Her E, Condemn, shoots your target away from you. If your target hits a wall, you will stun him. This is the best lane ability because you can change to see what you support. In teamfights, shoot those assassins away from you to stay safe. Then her R, Final Hour, grants you a huge buff for several seconds. It grants you a bunch of attack damage and your tumble will now grant you stealth for 2 seconds. Use it when your teamfight starts or to go all in on someone. For skill order, you can do two things. Either max Q first or max W first. This is dependent on the situation you're in, because if you're playing versus heavy tanks, then maxing W first will help you more. However, maxing Q first is usually the best for the laning phase. If you max Q first, max W second at E third. Of course level up your R on level 6, 11 and 16. If you max W first, max Q second and E third. Once again, your ult should always be leveled whenever you can. Now, item builds. Vayne skills very well with attack speed because of her W passive which deals true damage at every third hit on the same enemy. After doing the math, this build seems to deal the most damage. You start with Doran's Blade and one pot. After that, you try to get your Blade of the Rune King first followed by Berserker Greaves. Follow this up by a Phantom Dancer and you will have loads of attack speed early on, making you very strong. After this, you will have to take a look at the situation you are in. Do you need a defensive item because you die too much? Get a Guardian Angel or a Banshee's Veil. Guardian Angel works best when you are playing versus Fat Assassins, while Banshee's Veil works best against Poke Champions and Heart CC Champions. After that, follow it up by Last Whisper and an Infinity Edge. Always have one defensive item because this is way more important than getting even more damage. Vayne already has enough damage at this point, so there's no reason to get even more. Unless you're really far ahead. Guardian Angel, Banshee's Veil and Drenduin's Omen work well in the late game. So now we have covered all the basics of Vayne that you need to know to start playing her. Now the question remains, how to play her well. This is the more advanced part of the guide explaining you how to play the early, mid and late game. Vayne's early game is a struggle to play well. She is a weak early game champion and if her support can't make up for that, then it will be relatively hard to win early. However, because of her scaling, it is not that important to dominate early. 
You just need to farm it up, don't die and get the money together for your first crucial items. Vayne matches well with supports like Alistar, Nami, Lulu and Thresh. Even Leona can work really well because of her strength she gives in the early game. Try to get your support play one of these champions. Even though I said farm it up on lane, if you get an opportunity to poke or initiate, it's great. Vayne isn't that strong before level 6, but your tumble does allow for some nice poke damage when your enemy goes for a last hit. If you find an opportunity to stun an enemy into a wall, go for it. This can either mean free damage or it will result in a fight that you will most likely win. Also great to know on Vayne is how to use your tumble effectively. After you shoot a standard auto attack, tumble right after to cancel the animation, allowing you to shoot faster than you normally would. This means that you can shoot two auto attacks very fast. Add one auto attack before or after the combo and you will proc your W true damage for some extra damage. On level 6, Vayne will usually be stronger than her opponent. Her ultimate adds so much to her kit that her dueling potential goes up greatly. Try to find a fight with your support to either get a kill or take summoners from your opponent. On your first back, get that Bilgewater Cutlass. It makes you even stronger when you try to all in on your targets because of the slow and the damage onto your enemies. There is almost no way for them to get away from you unless they flash or their support sees you. Just try to play it safe early. There is no reason to play over aggressive with Vayne early because after the early game, no matter if you are 2 0 or you're 0 0, you will deal tons of damage. All you have to do really is get all the farm you can possibly get. If you have a Blade of the Rune King, a Phantom Dancer and a defensive item, go and gather up with the team to get into teamfights. This is where Vayne shines because she deals the most damage of any AD carry in the game. So let's get started with the mid game. This phase is about split pushing and teamfighting, two things in which Vayne is exceptionally good. Teamfighting with Vayne is not the easiest thing because you are such a huge threat. Lately in the LCS we saw a pro player double lift playing Vayne against Team Solo mid. Once Team Solo mid saw Vayne, they all shouted Vayne 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 Vayne. This is a common problem for Vayne because you want to show your damage to your team, but if you get close you will get focused hard. Her low range makes it hard to play safe, but that's the challenge you will have as a Vayne player and that's why she is so much fun. Like any AD carry, stay in the back lines of your team. Yes, I know it's hard as Vayne, but you will have to do it to stay alive. Doesn't matter who you focus first, your damage will be huge on anyone, even tanks. So try to kill the targets that are closest first. Use your ult plus tumble to reposition yourself. It is crucial that you don't get stunned as you see it because of your squishiness. Tumble is great for dodging skill shots, but also flash helps a lot when you have to react quickly. You need fast reaction speed to play Vayne properly. When enemies get close, use the active on Blade of the Ruined King to give yourself some ability to move away. Let your team react to them and once your team is initiated on them and you're in a safe location, deal as much damage as you possibly can. You can also use your Condemn, your E, to shoot targets away if they use a gap closer onto you. Please, don't just run in to kill someone and die afterwards. This is terrible and will only cause you to lose the game. If you want to carry, take it safe and try to not die. This is how high elo players carry themselves out of elo. Just play it safe and get ahead over time. Don't die. Once you are full built, you can sell your boots and replace them with a Zephyr. This item is great for Vayne because of the movement speed, tenacity and attack speed. If you've come to this stage, you should have already won the game. This is Vayne's territory if your team doesn't feel too much. There is not much more to it. To sum this up, stay in the back, use only your Q to reposition yourself and play it safe early game. After that, just carry the game by playing safe, stay in the back and do as much damage as you possibly can. Thank you for watching this episode of Tutorial Friday. If you have enjoyed the video, please press the subscribe button and like the video because that helps me a lot with my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time on next week's Tutorial Friday.